What's going on? Everyone? Welcome to Kibio Games. My name is Juan. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. This is going to be a list video uh, where we're going to talk about the games that I, 10 games that I'm really excited about seeing at Origins. Uh, currently, when you're watching this video, I will be in Origins and I am extremely excited to play a lot of games and see what's hot, what's new. I want, there's a lot of games on my list. I want to cross off and just try one time before uh while i can basically having like an early kind of like maybe play could be a lot of the games on my list are games that are not really released yet i believe most of them if not all of them no that's actually one of them that's already released i just don't think i can pick up a copy from the stores with it but i am really excited i am happy to be to origins and i hope if you did go to origins and you're here and you're watching this video drop me a hello i would love to say hi play a game get together i love playing games i love socializing and meeting new people so definitely do that if you can uh, if you're watching this video on origins let me know if you find me or even email me i would love to i would love to just sit down and play a game with you that would be awesome let's get this video going this is going to be a list in no specific order in the sense of there's no ranking. It's not a ranking list. I'm not ranking games. I am just really excited for these top, like these 10 games. I'm excited to see these 10 games at Origins, and I hope I get the opportunity to play all of them. Eventually, at, at, after this, after Origins, I am going to do like my top 10 games at Origins list, which will be ranked. This is just kind of a, what I'm excited about and what I really want to play and try out at least, and I hope once. Let's get this video going. Let's start off with my first one that I'm excited about. And the first one's going to be The Lost Ruins of Arnok Missing Expedition. I love Lost Ruins of Arnok. It's one of my favorite worker placement games slash deck building games. I actually whack what then when everyone compared this game to Dune. I prefer Arnok over Dune, but I do like Dune as well. And a Lost Ruins of Arnok the Missing Expedition, it's going to add six like scenarios in a can, a little bit like a mini campaign to playing the game. I am so excited for that. I love Arnok already, and I cannot wait to have now an expansion that adds a little more like a little scenario and campaign thing going on. That's going to be super fun. I am super pumped. I have been waiting for this ever since they announced it. I am like jumping out of my seat. Can't wait. That's the first one. Let's talk about the next one. Uh, Key Forge Winds of Exchange. So apparently, Key there's going to be a there's going to be some demos going on for Key Forge. I never played Key Forge. This is going to be I did. I believe actually I backed the kicks, the game found the crowdfunding campaign and I got a couple of things just cause I want to try the game out and I want to play it. One thing that I really like though is the cooperative, I like the cooperative game mode about it. That is something I really want to try and give it a shot only because I do like playing, I do like playing competitive games. However, it's easier to table cooperative games usually with people around me and people who are around. And I think I love like cooperative card games already. I want to give Keyforge a shot. And I hear a lot of great things. People talk about Keyforge all the time. And um, there's of course the great demise that happened when they stopped making Keyforge. Not gonna go into all that. But I am excited. Keyforge is one that I am really pumped about and I cannot wait to play. I did I I believe I'm pretty sure I backed like a base pledge or something like that. Just because I was so tempted to go all in, but we're holding back. We're holding back and I'm just going easy and then easing in from there. I'm excited for Keyforge. That's going to be a game that I'm really pumped about at Origins. I really hope I can get a demo in. I really, really hope. Uh, the next game I'm really excited about and I really want to get a demo in is Unbreakable by Chip3 Games. Uh, Too Many Bones Unbreakable. It's a standalone expansion to Too Many Bones, so you can play this game on its own. I am a big fan of Too Many Bones. I really do love the game. I love jumping in, exploring different characters, exploring the same character and going a different path with them before. I think the game has so much variability that I enjoy. And I really enjoy, I enjoy playing the game and I enjoy the variability it offers. Some games have a lot of variability, but sometimes it's just not enough. It just depends on the game. And I think Too Many Bones does a great job with that for me. And I cannot wait to play Unbreakable. I can't wait for my copy to come in. I, currently the game is fulfilling. And I think I'm like the bottom, like, I think they said like their last thousand orders, something like that. I'm like in the last thousand. I am so jumping out of my seat. So I cannot wait. I want to get a demo in Origins and I am really excited for this game. Uh, another one that is on my list is going to be Resurgence, uh, a competitive Euro style board game based around Russia. The game, I think this is like, it's hard to find. It's like out of print. Uh, it, I just... I can't find it anywhere, and I think people who have found it, it's like overpriced a lot as well. It's like double the price, and I heard it's out of print. Like I heard it's not coming back, which is kind of sad because I really want to try the game. And I seen people, I see people that have it, and I want to give it a shot so bad. Apparently, this game is going to be demoed at Origins. Like they're going to have a copy there. 
I want to give this game a shot and I really, really, really want to play it because it looks really cool and fun. It looks exciting. I love the theme. I love the whole mission aspect, hidden worker placement as well. I want to give it a shot and try it. Uh, like I said, I hear a lot of great things about the game. However, apparently just can't find anywhere, which makes me very sad. I'm excited to try Resurgence at Origins, and I really hope I can find a demo and sneak it in because I really want to try it. Uh, my next game is going to be Tesseract by Smirk and Dagger, Smirk and Laughter Games. This is a crazy one. I think the table presence, just look at this. Let me just show you a picture. Look at this craziness, this giant cube here. Uh, the theme is so freaking cool too. Tesseract appeared out of nowhere and scientists and people alike are kind of observing it and studying it. And your goal is to kind of use that, use this, use this, uh, cube of dice and you're supposed to manipulate it as and such with uh, different actions from the game that looks awesome it's just specifically like i don't know too much about this game i didn't back it on kickstarter unfortunately right, i think crowdfunding crowdfunding i think you're gonna say crowdfunding i didn't back it on crowdfunding however just like that cube alone like i am so intrigued and i want to learn more about this game i read a little bit of the rule book so like it's like dice manipulation you're going in and the game has a solo mode as well as like, well, of course, like the table presence is immense, but it's just crazy how it looks. Uh, it's going to be 24 cubes uh, and you're going to be trying to fill the matrix and such with different colored values and you're kind of saving the world, quote unquote. The game just looks immaculate. I mean, just look at how awesome that looks. I want to try this game so bad and I hope I can get a sneak. I can sneak a demo in. I really can't wait. Next game on my list is going to be Robomon, the mechanical pet board game. I backed this on crowdfunding, and yes, I'm gonna show you the art. Look how freaking cool this looks. I love how I love the look of it. Uh, Robomon, of course, is uh, it's it's like a solo with a two player game, and you're going to be story driven, and you're in a world of robots. Uh, I one of the biggest thing about this game is that I I backed it. I did. I hope I'm going to get a copy. I hope I'm pretty sure. And you're basically in your, you have like, you're training these little robots and the robots you're training are like your, they're your pets or your companions, as I say, and you go into battle and there's a story and the story is all like point based as well. Uh, and you're going in with either one or two players. I really want to play this at two. I hope it's like good at the two. If not, I'll play it at one. No big deal. But one of the biggest things that got me is the art. I love how this looks and it pulled me in like right away. I was so interested when the campaign dropped and I really want to give it a shot and play it at least one time. I hope I'm not disappointed. I really hope I'm not. I don't think I will be. Usually I'm pretty good with games like this, but the art alone just kind of brought me in. I want like a pin or like a poster or like some cool art here. This is Robomon, I am super pumped. I cannot wait to try this game. Uh, my next game on my list is going to be Lords of Ragnarok. I did not back this campaign originally. I it's not anything like I it's just kind of like um the reason why I didn't is because I'm trying to pull back on Kickstarter, like backing crowdfunding games, backing crowdfunding games only because it's expensive. It's really, really expensive. And I ended up backing at one point so many games that my credit card was going high. I'm like, this is not healthy. This isn't good. So I pulled back. I said, I just got to stop. And this is a game that unfortunately I just didn't back. Awaken Realms does a really good job. They have a really good high production value with a lot of their games and their miniatures are e amazing. They're e amazing. They're e amazing. Amazing. They are amazing. Uh, Lords of Ragnarok is one that I really want to give a shot. I heard great things. It re-implements like Lords of Hella and I thought Lords of Hella was cool. I really did enjoy I I liked it. But I want to give uh, the Lords of Ragnarok a play and see what it's all about. I hope Awaken Realms titles are starting to come to retail. They're starting to release out and like you can buy them at stores now. I hope this one makes it through. I want to play it first, of course, and I hope if I like it, I hope it makes it through so I can pick up a copy as well. Uh, this is the Lords of Ragnarok, Lords, Lords of Ragnarok by Awaken Realms that I want to try out over at Origins. Another game I want to sneak in is Isofarian Guard. Isofarian Guard is a solo cooperative narrative driven game i was hoping to find some pictures and i thought i could have sworn it was here somewhere um okay awesome we'll go over we're just gonna go over the game itself here cool uh it's a narrative -driven, ga driven game there's been a lot of buzz about this game and that's kind of what has me i'm hyped i'm watching all this stuff and i'm hyping myself up about like watching this content i want to give it a shot the game is huge first of all and everyone says it's so good I want to give it a shot so bad. It looks like you can purchase a copy here. I haven't clicked on that, so I'm not going to right now. But 
before you, I ever like invest myself into yet another cooperative game with an, like another, no cooperative game, yet another campaign game. I do want to give it a shot first and try it out. And then from there, make my opinion of like, okay, if I want to buy it or not. Only because, I mean, I think it's a pretty pricey game. It's a massive box, 25 pound box almost, if not more. It's pretty big. And I really, really, really want to play it first and give it a shot and then go on from there. I hear many great things. So I'm pumped and I want to try it out. And from there on, we'll see. I hope I can sneak it in because I do want to buy it, but I first want to be a smarter consumer and just play the game first. That's Fair and Guard is one that I am super pumped for. I hope I can sneak it in at the Origins. Next game I'm going to talk about is Stalker the Board Game. Stalker the Board Game, also by Awakened Realms. Uh, this game is currently on GameFound and it's funding now, as you can see. I just, this is kind of where I got to where to pick for the find like somewhere just to talk to and present. I am on the fence about this game, and not because I don't really know much about it. I read the campaign. It sounds great. It sounds like a fun game. However, yet again, another game that's, you know, pretty pricey as well as being a big box game. I am low on space in my studio, in my small studio here where I keep my games, and I want to check it out. I, I will make my decision after I play the game. If I play the game and I love it, I'll back it. I'll go for it just because I, I if I like it, I'll, I'll do it. And like I said, Awaken Realms doesn't scare me wrong. They definitely have a high production value. I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting a quality game if I do. But I want to play it first and find out, make, develop my opinion and see if I like it or not. The game is currently on GameFound. It has $2 million. Back, $2 million. Uh, that is pretty wild. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of money. Uh, and that's why it kind of piqued my interest. But I don't want to buy a game. I'm just tired of buying games and hoping that I do or don't like them and then waiting three years to get them and then all this stuff. I want to try it first. I'm going to try it first. And then after that, I'm going to decide if I do or don't want to buy the game. Uh, back the game on crowdfund on GameFound. Uh, looks, I mean, look at the, the miniatures look amazing. First things first. Uh, looks awesome. Look at this player board that looks ridiculously cool with all your equipment and such. I can't wait. I can't wait to try this game and find out if, I, if it is for me. That is a scary looking creature. Uh, this is one I'm really excited to try over at um, Origins. Uh, my last game I'm gonna talk about and I'm excited to play is going to be Guards of Atlantis too. I think the whole, so table, Guards of Atlantis is a tabletop mobile game. And I think mobile games going from kind of video games and stuff and going to tabletop is a really cool thing. Another tabletop mobile game that I know of is Cloud Spire, and I love Cloud Spire. It is a lot of fun. I hope I can sneak that sneak a play of that origin as well. Uh, if I can find someone who's teaching Cloud Spire, I'll probably jump in and play. Only because it's really hard for me to table that game because the barrier tension is really high. There's a lot to learn, lots of kind of lots to teach, lots to learn, as well as like all little small minute details that you have to kind of keep in mind when you're playing the game, which makes it hard to table. But I do love it. Guards of Lance is a, a tabletop mobile game, and it also has a really big like. People are talking about it. People are like buzzing. It's a big buzz game and it didn't come to retail. Like you could only buy it in like a crowdfunding campaign. I did back a copy of the game because I, like I said, I have tabletop mobile games are something I really want to get into more and play more often ever since my love for Cloud Spar kind of came in. And there's a lot of great reviews about this game specifically. I want to give it a shot. I'm going to try it over at uh, origins so i hope i can sneak in a demo of this because i want to pry it out for myself and hopefully i like i said it's kind of scary doing this stuff because i did back this game already i I have a copy it's coming in there's no refunds so it's kind of scary to go in and try the game and be like i didn't like it and i'm still waiting for like my i forgot how much it was well like 200 dollars copy to come in uh, i don't think it's gonna be the case like i said i just think after reading the rule book and watching plates and, and just watching a bunch of videos before I even backed it. I think it's a game for me. I'm pretty sure it is, but I want to play it. I don't want to wait another year or two for this to come to me. I want to play it today. And I am, that's why I am going to try to schedule a demo. And that is my last one on my list. Uh, there's a bunch of other games. Uh, like, it's always hard for me to narrow down uh, these games to like a 10 because there are so many cool games at Origins that I want to play so bad. Uh, I just needed, and I'm going to play more. I'm, I'm going to try my best to play as many as I can that I have on my list. And these are just the, time, the, the, the top 10, basically. In no specific order or rank, they're just 10 games I really want to try. And I am going to hope I can sneak in all of them here at Origins. If you're at Origins, have a lot of fun, be safe, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you're excited with me. And if you're rushing over to play these games, uh, I hope to see you there to play any of these games and I hope you're sharing my same excitement you I am. I'm probably sharing the excitement that I have for a lot of these games and I'm excited to try them and play them. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it and have a good one.